Hey coaches, uh, we're working on push-up. Uh, and so we're working a lot on shoulder stability and mobility. Uh, and I have three uh, warm-up things that we're gonna be doing, two of them for Thursday and another one that we're gonna add in at other times. So the first of these is, I think I'm calling them elbow rotations and hand plank. Uh, they're just kind of like shoulder activation drills for hand plank. So in our hand plank, we want the shoulder to be pushed forward against gravity. We want the shoulder to be squeezed down away from the ear. We want the hand to be screwing into the floor, kind of hiding the armpit, uh, activating a lot of the rotator cuff and other stability exercises. So these are just turning all that on and then relaxing that slightly. So what happens if we do nothing in our hand plank is that gravity pushes our elbow or our shoulder back. Uh, our shoulder will tend to drift up and that elbow will sort of come out. And this is a way that our body will tend to find stability uh, without us actively providing stability. So we're just gonna do sort of the opposite of that. Um, I'm gonna do an elevated plank just because it's a little easier to show. So if I sort of turn some of that stuff off, I relax a little bit here and I'm squeezing shoulders down uh, away from my ears and screwing my hands in. So it is a little bit like elbow, elbows are turning back and then relaxing out of that a little bit. So squeeze that on, hold for a beat, slight relax, squeeze, slight relax. So I think the biggest feeling is the screwing the hands in, turning the elbows back, but I'm also getting the squeezing down and squeezing forward feeling. Uh, the next warm-up exercise is a bench press prep row. So I have two dumbbells. These do not have to be heavy. I'm essentially getting set up for like a dumbbell bench press. So uh, putting my feet on the floor, walking my shoulder blades together so they're nice and flat, and then I'm pressing up. So I don't want to have the dumbbells straight overhead, or that's going to pull my shoulder blades apart. I want them apart just enough so that I can keep my shoulder blades walked back. So everything else is more or less the same as bench press, driving into the floor. Here I'm pulling the dumbbells down and actually pulling my shoulder blades uh, into the bench for a beat. So I'm just trying to have these dumbbells balanced over my elbow, more or less, and it's just enough weight to help me get just past where my dumbbell, or my barbell bench press would go. Coming out of there, again, not bringing the weights together, but trying to keep my shoulders ground to the floor, or to the bench, I should say, uh, and then pulling the weights down and even beyond where they would go passively, just that little bit of extra activation, squeezing my shoulders into the outsides of the bench. Pause, back up, shoulder blades squeeze down, elbows squeeze down. So we're just warming up some of the stability elements for the bench press, as well as that slightly deeper range of motion than the bench press will require. Finally, something I'm calling the flex, the PVC flex row. I'm going to do this seated, but this could be done standing. So it's again drilling that uh, external rotation or screwing your hands in, in this case bending the bar. So I can take the same grip as I would for a bench press. I could also be narrower. And the main goal here is screwing the hands in so you can see the, bend, the PVC will flex slightly. I just want to have that feeling of like my thumb and pinky are both squeezing into the bar throughout. And we can mimic either a push-up by pushing the shoulder forward and then squeezing the shoulder blades together and then actually pulling the PVC into the bottom of the rib cage to activate the upper back a little bit. Or we can mimic the bench press and keep the shoulders down and back. Again, though pulling just slightly. So keeping that flex on the PVC and then pulling into the rib cage slightly. So that might not be available to everyone. We just don't want people to be like come into this position. So even if they can't touch or pull, uh, we're still focused on that shoulder squeezing down, rotating to screw and hands into the PVC. Get that little feeling of flex on the PVC. So going through push pull, and again, either with shoulders coming forward or shoulders staying squeezed back to either mimic push ups or bench press. PVC flex row. There you go.